It's great to see such a great crowd here, uh, walking the streets and being out in the community. It seems like nobody knows there's an election going on, so to have such a great crowd, um, it's great to see. I want to thank Sunny and West Augusta Alliance for what they do for this community. It's important that we have uh, a voice to the commission, and this group does a great job of that. So my name is Sean Franham. I'm the development director at the Ronald McDonald House. I've been there over two years. I grew up here in uh, Columbia County and lived in Richmond County over 10 years now. And this is about the, the future of Augusta. Uh, there's nobody telling me to run. There's nobody backing me on the hill. Um, and I'm not a Billy Moore's boy. I just happened to win the Chronicle endorsement last week and I'm, I'm so grateful for that. It comes down to three things though. The community, my family, and the future. With the Ronald McDonald House over the last two years, we've been dealing with our new $6 million building that we opened about a month ago. And during that process, we dealt with many community leaders, organizations, churches, um, engaged in the community uh, to where we really had a, a pulse on what's been going on in the community. Family, my fian my beautiful fiance is over here and we're getting married in a few months. And, and you know, <laughs> Growing up in Columbia County, everybody's like, why don't, why don't you just go back to Columbia County? I'm like, I don't want to go back to Richmond, Columbia County. I want Richmond County to grow. I want to see Richmond County become the county that it can be with the resources that we have. And it seems like in local government, you know, we're, we're, we're tripping over ourselves and not really uh, representing the people the way they deserve. This organization has had over a thousand people uh, join in the past seven years. And as leading that organization, it was important that we, as, as our slogan is, developing tomorrow's leaders today. Augusta Richmond, Richmond County needs leaders. And that's why I'm applying for the job. I'm applying for the job to be your next District 7 Commissioner. One of the things that you see right now is there's a lacking in transparency and accountability all across government here locally. One of the things that I plan to do once elected is have quarterly District 7 meetings with the citizens. Let's be proactive in government as, instead of reactive. Just last week, I was unanimously endorsed by the Police Benevolent Association because I, law enforcement is, is the life and blood of what's going on right now in Richmond County. We need to make sure that people understand the fact that, you know, Sheriff Roundtree over the last two years, he's lowered every category across the board except for homicide this past year. That's impressive. But in Richmond County, we have this stigma, oh, it's not safe, our community. We gotta go to Columbia County, we gotta go to North Augusta. And that, that's just not true. One of the things I said today in the uh, Augusta Chamber of Commerce was I feel like we need a positive PR campaign. I'm sick of hearing about studies. Studies are not doing us anything, but let's focus on the things that are positive about Richmond County. Government officials, Efficiency is not where it needs to be. Uh, recently met with a man with Blanchard and Calhoun that talked about a project he had over on Walton Way that basically because of our processes of, okay, we fill out a bid, it goes from this department to this department to this department, back to this department. Well, that restaurant on Walton Way cost him about $30,000. And thankfully it's gonna be opening here shortly. But our neighboring counties, uh, Edgefield, you know, some of their things are automated. We've got to look at new ways to, to work for the people. Um, people want this, this rain tax situation. Well, the rain tax is going to kill business. Let, let, let's look at infrastructure problems with SPLOS money. We need to make sure that we don't you know, cut off our nose to spite our face by taxing people. And tax, people are tired of taxes. And District 7 is not going to be the donor district. As, if I'm represented as your commissioner. Fort Gordon right now, it's booming. It is important that people understand that. We've got real estate agents that say, you know what? Don't go to Richmond County. You want to go to Columbia County because of the education. You want to go to North Augusta because of the education or the, the living, Hammonds Ferry, what they have going on. Well, that's, that's just, that's, that's not true. We have positive schools. But to, to better efficient our schools, the commission needs to be meeting with the Board of Education. Again, it comes back to being proactive instead of reactive in government. I look at other collaborations, um, whether that be from economic development standpoint. 
We, we need jobs in this community. It goes back to the safety aspect. People, people come to this community because of what it offers. It's not always about what the education level is. They come because of what we, they want to work, live, and play in a two mile radius. Status surveys have shown. Last, a couple other things. Let's focus on the people. You know, we have Skinner Mill that has lighting issues. We have Pleasant Home that has pothole issues. I've been walking the streets and people have said, Sean, people aren't calling me back. This is going on, that's going on. You know, as your next District 7 Commissioner, I want to be engaged in that process to make sure that you're getting those phone calls returned. I'm coming to your house and checking out the issues that are going on within you. And one of the last things, and, and if anybody that knows me well knows that I'm a positive leader. We need positive leadership in government in Richmond County. It's not working right now. What's going on is not working, okay? The mayor comes out and wants all this power, which I, I, I disagree with. Should he have a vote? Yes, but the power needs to be in the city administrator, the hiring and firing power. I'm asking for your vote because I am here to represent the people over the interest of Augusta Richmond County. I look forward to talking to you after this event, and I look forward to representing you on March 17th as your next District 7 Commissioner. I'm applying for the job, and I'm asking for your vote. Thank you.